he's just a hack. He's just an absolute hack. And he gets his ass kicked by his teammates every week. It's just, you know, it's terrible. It's just terrible. The Carolina Panthers finally did it. They fired head coach Matt Rule, who produced literally no results in his time as an NFL head coach. Now, that might not be shocking news for anyone, but it allows the perfect opportunity for speculation of where the heck is he going to land. Now, I think we have to consider the previous past of other NFL head coaches that have come from the college ranks and then were fired and then returned back down to the college level. They very rarely are handed the keys to a big name program unless they have a very long track record of production, national championships, conference championships. Well, Matt Rule is a good college coach. He doesn't have any of those things. He produced a really good Temple program. Baylor recovered after dealing with one of the biggest scandals that they've ever handled as a, as a university and as a program. For him, he's going to likely step into a, a job opportunity that will either provide him rebuilding chances for his image and rebuilding a program that is really down bad, likely a Power 5 program, or joining somebody's current coaching staff. The two for me that fit that rebuild description is first, Colorado. They fired Durrell because that roster was terrible. It wasn't even up to the standard of being a Power 5 roster. They couldn't win a game this season. And they're a brand that when they're good, they're good and they're competitive. It hasn't been a while since they've been competitive, but they have the capability to be a competitive program. The more likely circumstance here is that he becomes Arizona State's head coach unless they want to go in a different direction. I think he fits their situation perfectly. They're coming off of their own scandal, a recruiting violation, a, a, actually not a numerous recruiting violations by Herm Edwards and his coaching staff who let that program run amok. And the results led to him getting fired. The lack of wins as well were disappointing for Herm Edwards and his staff, despite having pretty high hopes early on. That's a program that if they're on, they're on. And I've said this a lot of times, Arizona could potentially be and is turning into a hotbed for recruiting. There are a lot of guys that are coming out of that Arizona area, that Scottsdale area, that Phoenix area that are going on to play at big name power five programs. You're not going to be able to reel in all of those players, but at the very least, if you recruit the area well, you keep those guys home, you can be one of the best teams in the Pac-12. You also look at the fact that they're losing USC and UCLA. There is an opening for somebody to take over that conference and to lead them going forward. There is a perfect chance here for Matt, Real, Matt Rule to rebuild his image while also rebuilding this Arizona State program that, as I've said many a times, has the capability of winning. And I even brought up Matt Rule as one of the candidates when I talked about Herm Edwards being fired on one of the live streams that we did. So for me, that's the most likely. That is probably going to be where he ends up. It's relatively lower risk, not the lowest risk. I think the third option I have is the lowest risk, but it's relatively lower risk, allows him to rebuild things, turn him turn himself into a high prize candidate, and then if he wants to leave, he can go to a better Power 5 job. Now, the last one, and this is the easy one. This is the one that's always getting thrown out and brought up when any big name NFL coach is fired is to join Nick Saban's staff. Very simple for him and low risk for him to step in as an analyst or as a coordinator and then just work on his resume, work on himself as a coach, learn from the biggest legend in the coaching ranks in Nick Saban, and then step into an opportunity elsewhere. Bill O'Brien's about to do it, and he's the perfect example of the path that he could follow. Again, I think the most likely is him Arizona State, going to Arizona State. If you disagree with me on any of those three and you think I'm missing somebody, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. And also hit that like button if you agree with me.